Hello, this is Thomas Adrianson with NCSI, and today we're going to talk about quick action variables. Variables within quick actions allow us to capture and use data within that quick action so that we can run things uh, to capture that information and not have to create specific fields for it. So things like current user display name or current owner. And that's what we're going to do today. Today I'm going to create a quick action that reassigns an incident and captures the values of the previous team and previous owner to use later on within that composite action. So what we're going to do is we're going to log in as an administrator and we're going to go to the business object in which we want to create our quick action. And our, I'm going to be using incident here. So we're going to do quick actions and I'm going to use the new graphical action designer. And down here, you're going to see a new option here called update variables and stored values. So we are going to drag that on there first. And the first thing we're going to do is create our variables. So we're going to drag that on and go to our editor and we're going to select variable. Within the name, this looks like a drop down, but you can also start typing here. So we're going to capture the previous team and this is where we're defining our variables. So the previous team, and we're going to use a function of the current owner team. We're going to create another variable called previous owner. And we're going to use the current owner. Uh, actually, we're going to use a field that I've created called owner display name, so we're not getting login ID. A little cleaner. And then we're also going to create one called current user. And for this, we're going to use a function of oops, current user display name. That's okay. And so we're defining our values here. And that's going to be the first thing that runs when we run this quick action. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to update a record. I'm going to drag this here. And this is going to be the same thing as our normal reassign. So we're going to do an owner team. And for this, we're going to prompt. And I have these saved here. Uh, but we're going to do prompt for the team using the pick list team of standard user team use an incident. And we're going to add a field for owner. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to prompt for the owner. And so what that's going to do is that's going to then update that record. Now, we can then take the variables and we can, for instance, insert a child record. And say we want to create a note that displays uh, what the previous owner and team was and who changed it. So we're going to come down here to our journal notes. We're going to say our subject. is, uh, let's see, let's we'll use one of our variables. We're going to, you'll see a new drop down here called variables. So we're going to say variable, and we're going to select our current user variable. So we're going to say variable, current user has reassigned this incident. Okay, and in the body, We're going to say previous team is, and we're going to grab that other variable here. Now remember, since we're within function, we don't need those. And then we're going to do line break here, previous owner. simplify that. Okay. Uh, now in our common, we're going to give this a name for the action. We're going to do uh, reassign. And I'm just going to say uh, variable so that I know that this is our variable version. I'm going to put this under form actions and I'm going to auto save. All right. Okay. Let's give this a shot. We're going to go to our front end. We're going to refresh the page to make sure we get our quick action. And we'll go to incident.
and we'll use this one here computer is making grinding noises and we're going to reassign this using our new quick action so we'll go to form actions reassign using our variables it's going to prompt us for the team and it's going to prompt us for the user and we'll give it to summer okay so now we'll see that our incident has been reassigned to Summer Davis. If we go to our activity history, we can see a note that says Thomas Adrianson. This is our variable here for current user has reassigned this incident. And we can see our previous team and our previous owner. So you can use these in emails uh, or notes or uh, anything else that you can do within the context of that same composite action where you've defined the variables. Remember, once you've run that action and it's saved, these variables within this incident are now blank, so they can't be reused again at this time. Thanks for watching. Bye.